Hey, hello, this is Future Horikawa, and today I would like to show you a new feature from Rhino 7, which is called as Grasshopper Player, which is a feature you can use to uh, pack your Grasshopper file like a plugin for Rhino. Now you can use the command called Grasshopper Player from Rhino 7 to open up your uh, Grasshopper file that has been created outside <coughs> and uh, with uh, by setting a command prompt inside your grasshopper file the user doesn't really need to open up the grasshopper canvas by themselves but they can just follow the instructions on a command prompt to finish up to create a parametric model which is pretty useful when the user if we want to try out the parametric model but doesn't know the knowledge about Grasshopper but still want to try out various models. Um, it will be great to share the Grasshopper files that a designer has created to the user if we want to try to recreate the model. <clears throat> so I'll show you how you can do use this thing. So first of all I am going to create a really simple a Grasshopper file <clears throat> which can be called by a grasshopper player. I'm going to just try to create a really simple <clears throat> uh, setup to create a kind of a staircase based on a curve drawn on a ground like this by setting the width, uh, depth and the height for the step. I'm going to automatically create a three-dimensional steps or three-dimensional stairs based on this outline. So first, let's start by creating a steps <coughs> like you normally do in Grasshopper. I'm going to first divide this curve by a distance and let's use the slider to define the <coughs> first of all the depths let's say 200 maybe too much let's make this scale this a bit smaller All right <clears throat> now I am going to create a plane at each point using this tangent vector so I'm going to create construct plane at this point with t being x-axis and y being I'm going to rotate this axis, axis as uh, for 90 degrees using z axis with 90 degrees alright now that I have plane I can create a stair steps at each place but also I need to make it go upward based on the height information so let's also have the sliders to define the height let's say 150 for now and connect this to a series and a step number for the series and let's also calculate how many uh, steps I need to create by looking at the uh, list lengths and connect it to this C. Then let's connect this to this Z axis so that I have just created the series of Z steps numbers. Now let's use this to move the plane upward like a stair. Okay, looks pretty high. Now, <clears throat> next I am going to create a box center, center box, and use this plane as the center of this box. Now the X, Y, and Z for the center box is acted as a radius or half size of the box. So <clears throat> what I need to do now is to divide first of all this one which is the depth by 2. Okay, by 2 and let's since this is the depth and X uh, direction is the tangent which is the depth direction so let's connect it to here and also uh, let's also divide the height value by 2 and set it to Z 
and we also need a width value so let's create that like let's set it to 500 for now and also divide this by 2 and set it to y <clears throat> all right now that i got this uh, stairs staircase and i should be able to change its proportion by changing those parameters all right that's good enough for testing okay <clears throat> now this is the model actual model that i have want to build by uh, asking the user to select the curve and also the value for the width height and the uh, depths now to do that <clears throat> uh, what we need to do is to access to some special component for uh, grasshopper player which is under this prams and inside the util there is several components related to the grasshopper player and the, uh, you can use these to ask for a specific uh, command prompt and finally if, by using this context bake you can bake the geometry inside uh, from grasshopper to rhino all right let's try to do this first of all i'm going to use this get geometry to create a prompt command prompt for user to select the geometry so i'm going to first connect this go into the get geometry and then select this to see now by right clicking it you can first of all set what kind of um, data or geometry you want to use uh, for this component now i would like the user to select this curve so i'm going to deselect all these uh, geometries except for curves right now i am also would like to set some <clears throat> command prompt which is a message so click this prompt and write some message that so that user can uh, understand what to do next so select curve to create Eight stair like this okay now that we have a geometry we need those three numbers being uh, to be set by a user as well so go to the util and this time i'm going to use this get number all right so let's bring this up and connect it uh, in between the slider and the component same for the other one. Select, uh, connect, get the get number in between, and also for the width. Okay. After you've done it, uh, it's pretty much the same as get geometry. Just right click, and uh, click prompt, and set some command prompt to explain what user need to do. So for this one, set um what was this one this was the depths so set set depths for stair step okay now other things you might need to do is uh, how many numbers you can input for this uh <coughs> prompt now currently uh, it is set the minimum is one so you can at least uh set one numbers and if you only need just one parameters or one values to be used then for the utmost you can also type one if you want the user to be able to choose a limited number of numbers then you can like set it to empty so that user can set as much number as they want but in this case i just need one so i'm going to set one for the utmost well, the minimum, maximum, which is straight, straightforward, you can set the minimum and maximum value for the uh, depths. So let's say the minimum is 1 and the maximum is, let's say, 1000 millimeters. Now let's do the same for the other two. For this one, this is the height. So set height for the stair step and at most to be one 
and the minimum is equal to one and the maximum equal to thousand do the same for this one which is the width so prompt set width for the stair step okay and okay and at most one maximum two thousand and the minimum to one okay so in terms of the command prompt or user input which this is is this is it and the last thing you need is uh, in order for the user to bake the output you can uh, use this context bake okay so connect the geometry you want to bake you want a user to bake to this context geometry a context bake geometry and that's pretty much it for this one <clears throat> And if you want to show the the ghosted view of this grasshopper geometry, which is this red uh, geometry, you can keep this uh, viewed visible like this. Now it's time to save the file. Let's save this somewhere. I'm going to save this on a desktop and name this as a parametric stair. Okay, I'm going to close this grasshopper file. Right, like this, and now it's the time to call this grasshopper file using a grasshopper player command. Inside the command line, type grasshopper player, okay, and enter. Now it asks you to select the uh, grasshopper file to load. So I am going to just load the bond that I have just created, parametric stair, open. Now, as soon as you open it, it will ask you, uh, it will give you a prompt which you have set it inside the Grasshopper file by yourself. So first uh, a prompt is select curve to create stair. So let's select this curve. Now, as soon as I selected the curve, one stair appeared with the default value. Now, the next thing <clears throat> which it asks you I'd still ask you to select the curve, so I said enter to complete the selections. And next thing it asks you is to set the depths for the steps. So let's say if I want to set the depths for the steps to be 300 and enter, it will update it, instantly update the depths for the, each step. And next, it asks you to set the height for the step. Let's say I'm going to make it 150. Now it automatically updates as well. And then set the width. So let's say 1000. Now, as soon as I did it, uh, set enter for the last prompt, the bake, the geometry is going to be baked like this. So it's easy as that. You don't really need to ask the user to open up the grasshopper file by themselves to control the sliders, um, which might be sometimes really hard if the user doesn't know about Grasshopper itself, <clears throat> only knows about Rhino. And uh, in the case people don't really need to know about how it's being structured, then this is uh, really a great way. Now if I do the same thing again, Grasshopper, <clears throat> Grasshopper, layer open up the parametric stir again select the curve and depths let's say in this case thousand and the height let's say 300 and the uh, width like 300 you can create another kind of steps or stairs like this <coughs> So I think this is a really a cool feature to use, especially if you, when you want to share the Grasshopper file with the people who don't know much about this Grasshopper thing. Okay, so this is it uh, for today. This is, uh, this is how you can use a Grasshopper player, which is from the new feature from Rhino 7. <clears throat> okay, thank you for watching. 
and I also have started recently started the Patreon for myself. So if you found these videos interested or helpful, I would appreciate if you could support me. That would be great. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe for the channel. Okay, and uh, thank you, and see you next time.